Morning all. All right, so we have 12 games tonight in the National Hockey League as we are eight days away from the trade deadline and all that, which is going to play a role in everything. So every time there's a healthy scratch, the question's going to get asked of, is a guy being held out because they're going to trade him? And uh, anytime a guy's not at practice, is he traded is going to be the question. So just straight out preview today, we got six games starting at four Pacific, seven o'clock Eastern, two an hour later, one an hour later, and then the late starts. So it doesn't feel like this one's as uh, as rough as Tuesday for me. There's no uh, starts at the half hour. So relatively, that, that just means I get a little bit of breaks here and there. So 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, we got Vegas and the Boston Bruins, which means I'd be able to do the trade videos and all that too, right? So Vegas won this matchup January 11th at home by a score of 2-1 in overtime. Uh, Vegas 33-19-7. and seven. They are 4-5-1 and one in their last 10 games. Marsh is so over the last month in 9 games. 7 goals, 4 assists for 11 points. Nick Roy, 9 games, 2 goals, 4 assists, 6 points, has continued to have a really strong season for Vegas. On the Boston side, they're 34, 12, and 14. In their last 10 games, they're 3, 2, and 5. Uh, recent days, it seemed like there isn't a loser point they won't take. So, uh, Posternock, 11 games over the last month. 5 goals, 8 assists, 13 points. Is their leading scorer. Uh, Lowry, in the 4 games he's played, he's had 3 assists. He's also been a plus 5. So, Lowry, very effective. Uh, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between Carolina and Columbus. Of course, Columbus coming off that loss against the Rangers last night. Uh, Carolina won this matchup November 26th by a score of 3-2. to two. These teams will meet again April the 7th and April the 16th. Carolina's 35-18-6 overall. They are 7-2-1 in their last 10 games. Marty Natius being their leading scorer over the last month. 11 games, 5 goals, 6 assists, 11 points. Jack Drury's been prominent, but no goals from him. He's had 4 assists, though, in 11 games over the last month. 19-29-10 uh, record for Columbus. They're 4-6 and six in their last 10 games. Johnny Goudreau is their leading scorer over the last month in 9 games, a goal and 10 assists for 11 points. Zach Wierenski, effective, 3 goals, 3 assists over that same time period for 6 points. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Islanders and the Detroit Red Wings. Detroit won the first matchup in overtime 4-3 on October 30th. These teams will meet again on March the 21st, so just as we're dawning on spring. Spring is very close. Uh, the Islanders 24, 20, and 14 overall. They're 4-3-3 three, and three in their last 10. Uh, Barzell, 9 games, 4 goals, 6 assists, 10 points, is their leading scorer over the last month. Engvall, in 9 games, a goal, 3 assists, 4 points for him. On the Detroit side, they're 33, 20, and 6 overall. They're 7, 2, and 1 in their last 10. Do believe they've won 6 in a row. Uh, Kane's their leading scorer in the last month with 9 games played, 5 goals, 9 assists, 14 points. He's on quite the heater when it comes to point streaks. Uh, Andrew Kopp, just the two assists in 10 games over the last month. So looking for a little more from Kopp, but we've talked about that since he arrived in Detroit, it seems. Uh, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between M Montreal and Florida. This is the third of four meetings. Florida's won the first two. So would officially win the season series if they win tonight. Uh, Florida won 5-1 to one on November 30th and 4-1 to one on December 30th. These teams will meet again on April the 2nd. Uh, Montreal, 23-28-8 overall. They're 3-7 and seven over their last 10. Nick Suzuki's been quite good over that time period. In 10 games, 10 goals, 4 assists, 14 points. Uh, Joshua Raw, I wanted to talk about a bit. 4 assists in 8 games. And honestly, I've been really impressed with Raw's play. We'll see if that continues tonight. Uh, for Florida, they're 39-16-4. and four. They're 8-2 and two in their last 10. Uh, Matthew Kachuk, their leading scorer over the last month. 9 games, 5 goals, 11 assists, 16 points. Evan Rodriguez, 4 assists in 10 games for him. So he's due for a goal. Uh, Rodriguez definitely due for a goal. 7, seven o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific start between Buffalo and Tampa. Uh, Buffalo won the first matchup in overtime. 3-2, to two, that was on October 17th. On January 21st, Tampa Bay wins 3-1. to one. Uh, The th fourth and final meeting will be on April the 15th. For Buffalo, they're 27-28-4. They're 5-5 five five over their last 10 games. And over the last month in 10 games, Cousins with two goals, five assists for seven points. He's been their leading scorer. Alex Tuck, same number of games played. Two goals, three assists for five points. They could use a little bit more from a lot of players, including Tuck. Uh, for Tampa Bay, they're 32, 24, and 5 overall. They're 5 and 5 over their last 10 games. Uh, Kucherov's been their leading scorer in 11 games, 6 goals, 12 assists, 18 points. Uh, Stamkos, over that same time period, 11 games as well, 3 goals, 1 assist, 4 points. 
Uh, Stamkos just not giving them the kind of production that we're used to, but still an effective player out there. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between Arizona and Toronto. Uh, February 21st, Toronto won this matchup 6-3. to three. Uh, For Arizona, of course, they're 0-8-2 and two over their last 10 winless in, I think it's 13 games now. Uh, 23 30 and 5 overall, and it's become a miserable season for Arizona. Uh, Michelli's been their leading scorer over the last month in 10 games, 3 goals, 4 assists, 7 points. Uh, Jason Zucker, who may very well be on the trade block, uh, 10 games, 1 goal, 5 assists, 6 points. He's just signed to a one year deal with the Coyotes. Uh, for Toronto, they're 33 17 and 8. They're 8 and 2 over their last 10. Their winning streak was snapped by Vegas. So, this shouldn't be a trap game. This shouldn't be one that they have trouble getting up for. Uh, as otherwise might be the case. Matthews, their leading scorer over the last month, 11 games, 12 goals, 7 assists, 19 points to lead them in scoring over the past month. Max Domi, 3 goals, 3 assists over that same time period. Domi, it feels like lately it's been better for him, uh, but we'll see if that continues to be the case. Uh, then at 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific, we've got the Winnipeg Jets and the Dallas Stars. This is the third of four meetings. Dallas already won the first two. On uh, November 11th by a score of 3-2. November 28th by a score of 2-0. These teams will meet again April the 1st. Uh, Winnipeg 37-15-5 overall. They're 7-3 in their last 10 games. Connor's been their leading scorer over the last month. 10 games, 6 goals, 6 assists, 12 points. That's more like Kyle Connor. So nice to see he's back. Uh, Ayafalo, I believe, had a goal in their very last game. Uh, that would be the goal that's on the board here. And his only point over 10 games in the last month. Uh, Ayafalo works hard. It'd be nice to see him get more points. Uh, Dallas, 35-17-9 record. They're 4-3-3 three, and three in their last 10 games, coming off that embarrassing loss against Colorado. Uh, Duchesne, their leading scorer over the last month in 11 games, 6 goals, 5 assists, 11 points. Rope Hints over the last month, 12 games played, 1 goal, 2 assists, 3 points. Hints is officially cold from a scoring perspective. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific start between Minnesota and Nashville. Uh, battle of the wildlife, as it were. Uh, November 30th, Minnesota won this matchup 6-1. to one. January 25th, it was a 3-2 to two win for Nashville. These teams will meet again on March the 10th, so 10 days from now. Uh, for Minnesota, they're 28-25-6 and six overall. They're 7-2-1 and one over their last 10 games. Kirill Kaprizov leading them in scoring over the past month. 10 games, 7 goals, 11 assists, 18 points. Marco Rossi in 10 games played over the past month. 4 goals, an assist, and 5 points. On the Nashville side, they're 33-25-2. and two. They're red hot right now. This honestly should be a really good game. Uh, Nashville 7-3 and three over their last 10. Yossi leading them in scoring over the last month. 10 games, 4 goals, 9 assists, 13 points. And he's scoring at a rate where he has to get more notice when it comes to the Norris conversation. Not saying a favorite, but conversation definitely. Uh, Tyson Berry over the last month and expected to be moved. He's only played 4 of the games they've played and only recorded one assist. So we'll see what the market's like for Tyson Berry. Nine Eastern, six Pacific start between Colorado and Chicago. So there will be nine games on at the same time uh, for a short while, but I'm sure by then there'll be a lopsided game I'm not necessarily having to pay every moment of attention to. Uh, but it's Colorado and Chicago, and they've split the first two meetings. Colorado won 4 nothing on October 19th. On December 19th, Chicago won 3-2. to two. So Colorado knows Chicago can beat them. Uh, these teams will meet again on March the 4th, so they'll meet four days from now. Uh, Colorado, 36-19-5 overall. They're 4-5-1 over their last 10 games. Uh, Nathan McKinnon, their leading scorer over the last month. Though, again, as I've said, he slowed down, but just by his standard. 11 games, 4 goals, 10 assists, 14 points. Still scoring very well. Uh, Devon Taves, over the last month, 2 goals, 2 assists, 4 points. I've talked about how McCars had a rough past month. Taves' numbers haven't been much better than McCars, so... Uh, we'll see how those turn around. And again, Colorado being 4-5-1 and one over their last 10. That's not really uh, Colorado's normal record. Uh, Chicago on the other side, they're 15-39-5. They're 1-6-3 and three over their last 10. In the last month, uh, Nick Foligno, their leading scorer in 9 games, 5 goals, 4 assists, 9 points. Connor Bedard in 6 games over the last month, 2 goals, 5 assists, 7 points. So staying around a point per game. Uh, so we'll see whether or not they score tonight. On the... Uh, other okay so the late start 10 o'clock eastern seven o'clock pacific the sentence started and i'm like can i save it and then my brain went no you cannot so 10 eastern seven pacific start between pittsburgh and seattle this is the second of final meeting january 15th in pittsburgh the penguins won three nothing the penguins are 27 21 and 8 coming off of a comeback victory against vancouver uh and they're five four and one in their last 10 crosby over the last month 10 games five goals seven assists 12 points Malkin continues to get on the board as a slow player. 
Uh, just the five assists over 10 games in the last month. No goals. I'm surprised by that. Uh, it, it does feel like with Melkin, you know, uh, the scoring's just not where it used to be. We've talked a lot about Ovechkin and for obvious reasons, but Melkin, is, it's a similar story. Uh, then Seattle, 25-22-11 and 11 overall. They're 5-4-1 over their last 10 as well. Uh, McCann, 9 games, 5 goals, 6 assists, 11 points. Is their leading scorer over the last month. Bjorkstrand, just 1 goal, 1 assist for 2 points in 9 games over the last month. Uh, they definitely need a couple more goals from him. Uh, also at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, the LA Kings and the Vancouver Canucks meet for the first of 4 meetings. So Vancouver and LA could have a great say over how the other team does. Uh, these teams will meet March 5th, March 25th, and April the 6th. And I will be at, I think it's the April 6th game I'm going to, um, if it's in Vancouver. Because I know I'm going to a Vancouver game. It may be March 25th. I don't know. I should probably check since I'm going. Uh, LA's 29, 19, and 10 overall. They're 6 and 4 over their last 10. Uh, Byfield, the leading scorer over the last month, 11 games, 4 goals, 6 assists, 10 points. Dano. Over 11 games, just one goal, three assists, four points from Dano, but I believe he had a goal in the last game they played. Uh, Vancouver, 38, 16, and 7 overall, 4, 4, and 2 over their last 10. It's been a bit of a rough patch, but if if the Pedersen extension comes in, maybe things turn around there. Uh, Miller's been their leading scorer over the last month, 12 games, 9 goals, 5 assists, 14 points for JT Miller. Uh, Lindholm, over the last month, 12 games, 4 goals, 2 assists, 6 points. Uh, definitely a learning curve when it comes to Lindholm, and we'll see what happens from here with him with the Canucks. 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific, Anaheim and San Jose meet for the fourth and final time. On November 12th, Anaheim won 4-1. January 20th, San Jose won 5-3. And the game I attended right before the All-Star break happened, uh, January 31st, it was a 3-2 overtime win for Anaheim. So it's been a month since I was down there. Man, time passes so fast. Uh, Anaheim, 20-35-3 overall. They're 4-5-1 over their last 10. Vetrano, the leading scorer over the last month. Nine games, five goals, five assists, ten points, including the overtime winner on January 31st. So, I do what I can. Uh, Henrique, I, I don't even know what that means. Nine games, one goal, five assists, six points. I really like Frank Vetrano, though. But yeah, Henrique, one goal, five assists, six points. I've heard his name here and there when it comes to trade rumors. We'll see whether or not anything happens there. On the San Jose side, they're 15, 37, and 5 overall. They're 3, 6, and 1 over their last 10, coming off of an embarrassing loss against New Jersey. Uh, Zadina is their leading scorer over the last month. 8 games, 3 goals, 2 assists, 5 points. Duclair, just the 3 goals in 8 games over the last month. We'll see who scores the goals for them. And hopefully, this game doesn't go to overtime or a shootout because it is the 7.30 my time start. So... Fingers crossed there. Let me know your picks in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event that you've not done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.